Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. the ramble and i am alex hi how are you yeah we don't have a guest right now so so i'm just going to talk to you just uh, you, uh, you know do a whole bunch of just rambling talk that's why we call it the ramble right okay anyway uh so uh, you know what i did today i went to the uh, went to the ear doctor all right uh, and I ha- haven't been to an ear doctor in several years now and the reason i've gone to an ear doctor is i've had this dizziness Okay, where I'm kind of like, you know, and if I stand up, if I were, I, I could do it now, but I'm not going to do it for you. If I were to stand up, you'd see me just standing here straight. If I close my eyes, I start to waver back and forth and start l- kind of losing my balance. And uh, this has been bothering me for about four weeks or something like that. Not, not, uh, not a long, long time, but I can remember going back about four weeks. And I, I get up and I'm kind of tired all the time. Not tired, but lightheaded. The tiredness is something else altogether. That's COVID fatigue, you know, that you get from staying in the house too much. But anyway, uh, so I, I just, I just the Marjorie said, go see an ear doctor. Go see an ear doctor. Okay, so I got, a hear, I got an ear doctor. She, she went to him because, uh, an ENT, because her nose uh, got plugged up or something, and she wanted some, I don't know. But anyway, so I went to this doctor today, and uh, he checked me out, and they gave me an, uh, an audio test. You know, the audiologist that gave me a hearing test, and my hearing drops off a little bit on bass response. Uh, he said, uh, you know, your hearing's not bad. It's just, you know, it's, it's diminished uh, because you're getting older. And also, you live in a city and there's a lot of noise and, you know, your ears are affected by that and so on. But otherwise, you know, your hearing's okay. And what they do is they play tones and they go, and you go they raise your finger if you, if you know the, the, if you hear the tone, if you don't hear the tone. And sometimes you think you hear the tone, but you don't know if you do or not. So anyway, she uh, she did the test and said, hey, well, I see it drops off here and that's the way it goes. And, you know, but you're not deaf. You know, it's not like I need a hearing aid or anything like that. But he said, I, you know, then he went in and I, I told him, you know, when I stand up and close my eyes, I wobble. He says, do it. I said, I stood up and I started to waver. And I said, you see that? And he says, yeah. He said, close your eyes again. Put your finger on your nose. And I did that. Put your other finger on your nose. I did that. He said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm sending you to another doctor. You know, it's kind of, I'm now in the circle of doctors, okay? It's like, oh, I've got a doctor you got to see now. He says, uh, th- this is a balance problem, and I've got a guy I'm going to send you to who's going to give you a bunch of tests for balance and, and, and check out your balance and, and all of that. So Tuesday, i got to go see the balance doctor, and supposedly that's kind of not a... It's not a, it's not uncomfortable. It's annoying supposedly because they do things to get you like dizzy and things like that. And I, you know, it's not it's not going to be pleasant. They say when you leave the office, you're kind of wobbly. Okay, so anyway, that's that's uh, that's Tuesday. So if I'm not here Tuesday night, it's because I'm so wobbly that I I can't get myself together to do a show. But I should be okay. Uh, but anyway, so I'm, you know, I, I, but what bothers me is, you know, I know I'm not a youngster, okay? I know I'm not a kid. And I know that it's not going to get any better from here on in. But I'm, you know, where before I never really saw a diminishing of my abilities, now I do, you know? I mean, I'm a little wobbly when I walk, and, you know, I've got the, the neuropathies of my feet that kind of are, are, are hurting a bit. Uh, and I, you know, I, uh, all the things that I used to take for granted that I could do is, you know, get out and go take a long walk. I can't, I really can't do it anymore. And, uh, I feel that age is catching up with me. 
and this is this is really bothering me. Uh, and I hate to tell that to an audience out there on the internet because I'm supposed to be talking to young people because that's all that ever what pays attention to the internet anyway. And um, uh, I, I'm so I, I, when I talk about this, I'm talking about stuff that you know, you kids are going. Eh, I don't. I'm not going to listen to this old fart. I have no reason to listen to this. Let me go over and you know listen to Joe Rogan, who isn't an old fart yet. Okay. Um, of course, Joe Rogan's staff has uh, has COVID. So, but anyway. Uh, so it was, you know, it, it, it kind of it kind of is getting me to feel a certain not mortality. I know my I'm, I've had this feeling of mortality for a long time, but just the fact that I'm, you know, it's just not like I used to be. I mean, my 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 feet are numb from the neuropathy. He said the neuropathy might be causing some of the balance problems, but uh, from the neuropathy, I have neuropathy. What else do I have? Well, I have the prostate cancer, but you know what what's that that's the least of my problems you know uh and uh, uh i have to have an eye operation uh in a couple of weeks in, in november i may be out for a couple of days on that one what they're doing is see these lids here it's not the bags under my eyes that i could just get an operation for but he's got to lift the, he's got to lift the lids uh because there's too much gap see there's too much gap coming down it kind of forms a v and so they've got to stitch it up and get the eyes just right and so on. So what have you. Now, I'm going to play something we haven't played in a while, and I want to play it because uh, it, 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 we've gotten to the point where we got to play it again. Our opening. remember when I first started playing that and I made up that wonderful little opening? Well, I, I did that uh, about uh, six months ago, right? And we used to play it every night because we had a real bad case of, of corona here in New York. I mean, it was, it was amazing. I mean, to this day, the amount of deaths in New York still stand at about 33,418. Most of those, however, were all within the first maybe three months of the uh, of the coronavirus in New York, uh, which is kind of kind of sad. Uh, but the reason why it was in the first is because we did bend the curve and bring it all down, and we got it down to a really nice amount to where at one point we had I think maybe 425 hospitalizations in a given day. Well, today we had 1,000 hospitalizations. And we used to have uh, 700 deaths, but then it went all the way down to one day where we had zero deaths in the state of New York, okay? Usually it was up around three or five or around there. Well, yesterday it was, maybe it was uh, 12, something like that, 12 deaths. So, you know, if we're, we're, but a lot of this, our, we have a percentage thing, you know, uh, a percentage of infection and that's based upon all the testing we do and we do about 125,000 tests a day okay in the state of New York and uh, it really was uh, uh, it, it's uh, at one it's what is it 1.3 or 1.2 something like that and it, we'd like to be under a one 
if you take away what they call the hot spots, then we're at like a 0.98. So that's pretty good, but we still got more deaths, more hospitalizations, more intubations, you know, and, uh, but it, it, for us, that's, you know, we're, we're going, oh, this is terrible, let's not do this. In other states, it is just ghastly. I mean, the percentage of people who take the virus, the uh, COVID test, uh, uh, the percentage in Nevada who test positive, 29%, okay? So, you know, when we look at a 0 0.98, yeah, I gotta go, okay, all right, it's a little higher than it has been. You know, the overall is a 1.2 with the hot spots and, you know, okay, but compared to 99, what, 59% infection rate? And in other states, you got a bit, Florida's terrible. They're, you know, last night, uh, 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 Trump said, you know, uh, the cases have gone down in Florida and they've gone down in Arizona. Wrong, wrong. Uh, no, it went down in Texas and Florida, that's what he said. Wrong, they just zipped up in Florida and they just zipped up in Texas. Uh, and um, for instance, so far in, uh, in, in Florida, there have been 16,340 deaths, okay? Yeah. In Texas, 17,772. Now, here in New York, we've had 33,418, but that was including the beginning of this whole thing. Uh, I would say in the last three months, the amount of deaths we've had have been roughly, oh, I'd say they probably average something like f four or five a day. So, you know, but I think down in Florida yesterday, I had a thousand deaths or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. But let's, you know, for a second, let's just look uh, at, the, uh, at the world, okay? Here we go. There, there's the whole world. Look at that. See, the United States, hold on a second. Let me move it over here. Uh, come on, come on. There we go. There, look at that. Look at how filled up the United States is. Russia isn't that filled up. Europe is, it's not good, but it's not terrible. Here, Italy, not good, not good. Uh, but, I mean, the United States, uh, first of all, global cases now, 42 million, 114,524. Global deaths, 1 million, 143,291 deaths. But in the U.S., see that number? In the U.S., to right now, this is the Johns Hopkins uh, uh, thing, uh, and John Hopkins is the go-to site for l looking at this chart. We have, uh, it says global deaths there, but it's not global deaths. We've had 8,487,707 cases here in the United States Okay, 223,914 deaths. We're, get, we're getting to the point where, uh, I, I forget, what, what did they say the world was? I forget now. Uh, but we are about one in five deaths in the world is in the United States now, okay? I, I don't want to depress you with this, but I want to, I want to make a point here. Uh, we got uh, New York is uh, still the number one in deaths, uh, but uh, we're not number one in the number of cases. You got Texas is number two, California number three, Florida number four, New Jersey number five, then you go to Massachusetts and Illinois and Pennsylvania. I mean, this is just not, those are deaths, okay? There's 17,000 deaths in Texas going on to 18,000 deaths in Texas. Uh, 17,305 deaths in California, 16,340 deaths in Florida. And look at this down here. This is daily cases, look at that. You see, it was here and it went down. It felt, it felt really good about that. And then July started going up. We peaked in, uh, I think in July, when is it? Uh, do we have a date there? Um, uh, July 16th. Okay, we peaked, but then we came down again. We got a nice low one here, 
uh, dipped down, but not as low as we were before. And that was in uh, 9, 9 uh, 2003. So that's, uh, that's uh, uh, September. Look at where we are now. We're about where we were in July. Okay, that's as of, well, the 22nd, which is when? Is that today? I don't know. What's the date today? I keep forgetting. Uh, let me see the date. Uh, we're, I think we're, we're the 23rd. Yeah, so that was yesterday. All right. So, now let's see here. Is there any other, let me see here. Are there any other statistics we have here? Oh, daily deaths. Look, here, here, here in March. See, we had, this was all the New York stuff, okay? And then we brought it down considerably, and then you guys, the rest of the country, brought it back up again. And uh, yesterday we had, uh, let me see here, come on. Can I make this thing stay there? It won't stay. It doesn't want to stay. Oh, there we go. 124, what, one point? Oh, okay, 1,124 deaths yesterday, okay? So, I mean, it's, it's not good. Now, look, up in Canada, look. Go to, if you could get into Canada, you should go there, but you can't, so screw you. Uh, Asia, look, China doesn't have a big problem mainly because it spread everywhere else, but it came over from Europe, and look at Europe. Europe's pretty, pretty hot right now, too, you know. So what am I saying? What, what is the point I am trying to make here, okay? I guess the point I'm trying to make, and it's not a, it's, not, it, it's, a, it's a, how do I get this? I have to, now I have to get rid of this, uh, uh, this, uh, Oh no, I don't want that. I need, I need, oh God, how do I get out of this? Um, come on, just uh, give, give, give me a, give me a thing here, okay? No? Oh God, I can't, I, I'm having a trouble with the, uh, uh, this is too, oh there we go, okay. I'm trying to. I'm, what happened was I, 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 I opened up the screen big so you could see it, and then I couldn't get it to go small again, which I need it to be for the rest of the show. So anyway, and that's the way it is. God, when I look over there, I'm doing something. I look like an old See, I look like an old man. I'm just, I've just had it with this getting old shit, you know. It bothers me. It really bothers me. Anyway, so, um, uh, you know, eh. It's it's, uh, it's it's not good. It's not good. Okay, let me go to the let me go to the Zoom panel, and uh, uh, here we go. They're all coming into view, and I go Zoom panel, and there they are. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hey. Yep. There's Charlie, and there's Jeff. Uh, hi, Jeff. How are you? You, I think it's a new record today for COVID cases. I know you hit. Uh, I, I think I just mentioned it. It was uh, what? Seventy-seven thousand. That's that's today, Friday. Seventy-seven thousand cases in one day. In one day, and do you know what the you know what the president said last night? The things were really good and down in Texas. Yeah. Uh, where did he get that idea? Makes it up. Huh? He makes it up. He makes it up. Yeah, he exactly. just pulled it out of his ass. He pulled it out of his ass. Yeah, uh, and, but it's not good. You know, it's uh, you know, and it's up a little bit here in New York. It's not desperate, but uh, I'm starting to say maybe I shouldn't go out so much. You know, like today I went to a doctor, and you know that <laughs> that uh, that put me in jeopardy. But I, I think if you wear your mask, you're in pretty good shape. Yep. You know, and and but why we can't get all of America to wear masks is beyond me. It just, you know, you explain it to them and you explain it to them, and I think it's because the president's done nothing about it. Now, anybody hear uh, Joe Biden's speech today yes. about yes. his his COVID plan? Fantastic, yes. really good. Yeah, you was. know, I mean, he came out with a plan. You know. Here's what I would I will do the day I get in the office. Here's how we're going to attack this thing, you know. 
And I, you know, I just, uh, God, I hope, I hope everything turns out the way we think it's going to turn out. How do yeah. you think it's looking, Josh? <clears throat> What's that? Uh, the election. I don't know. Too early to tell, I guess. I mean, it's looking good, I think, but don't well, know, right? What I like about Josh is you ask him a question like that, and his first reply is, well, yeah, whatever, you know. And then he starts talking a little more, and a little more, a little more, and then he's animated, and then he starts telling you how it's going to turn out and why he thinks it's going to turn out. Right, Josh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> huh? I mean, I think that... <laughs> I was listening before you came on to what must have been your replay from last night. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you were making a point about the polls this time being a little different than last time. And for a whole lot of reasons, but if nothing else, I, I think they're going to be more accurate and are accurate simply because all these media outlets and pollsters, et cetera, know that if they make the same and complete total fuck up this time, <laughs> that time yeah. that they're probably finished. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no one's really going to give a care for polls ever again. Yeah. So, and I mean, they're just going to look, because it happened twice, they're going to look even worse than they did the first time. Right. You know, right. I mean, if, if you fall off your bike once, you look stupid if you do it again five minutes later maybe you got a problem you know? so, yeah yeah or whatever but you know i mean you know a million things you could say there but so they're gonna be i'm sure that they are a lot more careful this time i don't know what algorithms they use or how they break it down or whatever they do in the rooms where they put it all together but i'm sure whatever it was got a total top to bottom side to side look after last time right and they bought the new hard drives they needed or they hired <laughs> the new people or they did whatever yeah they they uh, went so, they went they went from floppy disks to hard drives right yeah i mean i'm sure they did whatever because there was a lot at stake for them person for financially mm -hmm. i mean the, i think they care more about that than they do who wins you know a lot of them because that's their livelihood or their business yeah so yeah. i'm sure they took steps to fix it yeah yeah and I think that there's some real life experience this time that we're seeing that kind of just gives you that anecdotal look at it mm -hmm. that kind of matches up with what you're seeing, you know? Like, I see a lot more Biden signs, even in this area that I live in, which is heavy, heavy Trump. I mean, it's so heavy Trump, he's coming here tomorrow. Really? Trump is five minutes from my house tomorrow. You know, I was talking to Patrick earlier, and I mean, he'll land right here. At uh, you're Baxter you're where Street. you're where again? I keep forgetting. I live in Pickaway County, Ohio. Ohio, yeah. which is about 20 minutes south of Columbus. Yeah, and the county seat of that county is a is a little town called Circleville, Ohio. That is the county seat, and he is coming to Circleville tomorrow to give one of his rallies at the new fairgrounds that they built last do, year. Do you get that same kind of excitement like when you were a kid and the circus came to town? Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm it's kind of to... the same thing, you know. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's how heavy Trump it is, okay? So, I mean, I'm sure you've noticed that his rallies are being conducted in places that like him. Mm -hmm. Which seems odd because when you go to rallies where everyone's going to vote for you anyway, I don't really know what good it does. But I'm just, I think go I York. think I think have a rally in New York City. Well, I think right? he, I think he's going. I think he's going to Ohio because right. even though he's going well, to some little right, little yeah. pissant city in Ohio, he is yeah playing to all of Ohio. And the reason right. he's going to Ohio sure. is I think It'll he's, be all over the news. I, he's not going to go anywhere where the state is still is in play. OK, yeah. where he is losing in a state, he is he's not going to go to a state where he's winning. He's going to go to a state where he's losing. So he's been yeah. going to Florida. He's been going to Ohio. And these are these are the swing states. But I don't think here's here's my feeling. You know, you said, uh, yes, I'll get to you in a second, Brian, as soon as I'm finished here. Uh, no, I'm just checking the 
oh. thing I'm doing. I wasn't raising my hand. Oh, oh okay. I, I just wanted to let you know I noticed you. I actually enjoy listening to what Josh has to say because, like you yeah. say, he's very knowledgeable on this. Yeah. I think, you know, you're saying that they're worried that they're going to make the same mistake again, that the pollsters are going to be wrong. And I think the pollsters are going to be wrong this time. I think they're going to be wrong because I think the vote is going to be much more of a rout against Trump than they ever imagined. I mean, I kind of lean that way, too, because I think turnout is going to be higher than it was last time. It is, already, higher than the, it is already half of what it was in the last election in the pre-voting. And we're not even, we're not even a week before that, the, the election. Right. So I think it's going to be higher. Yeah. And I think it's going to be higher than they anticipated, which is, you know, really hard for them to gauge. Mm -hmm. But I think it's going to be higher than they anticipated. And I think a pretty good majority of those people that are in that higher mm -hmm. than anticipated section mm -hmm. or group are going to be Biden people. Because I think the Trump people were excited about Trump last time and they're just voting for him again this time. Right. But I think there's going to be a lot of that exceptional turnout that maybe didn't vote last time that will this time that makes it higher. But I think a lot of those people are going to tend toward, you know, Joe Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, uh, Charlie. Yeah. Almost half of the registered voters in Austin, Texas have already voted. Wow. In spite of Abbott's measures to uh, suppress them, they've, they've successfully voted. Yeah. Well, Austin is blue. I mean, we fight Governor Abbott tooth and nail. They're not going to steal any votes in Austin. Yeah, yeah. Then it can have a lot of people, so. Yeah, well, I mean. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so he's coming here tomorrow, mm -hmm. and, you know, my wife has got to get out of her work early because she lives, doesn't, I'm sorry, doesn't live, but she works on a street that will be, basically, they cleared all the cars yesterday mm -hmm. uh, because it's the main street street that goes through the little town and the fairgrounds are out on the edge of town so you know they'll cut through i mean yeah i live so close to the air force base that's way down south on the south end mm -hmm. completely south of columbus it's outside of town it's a retired air force base that's now a, a reserve base only and then it's a full-time cargo airport um and it was built way out in the middle of nowhere, you know, when it was first built in like the 50s or whatever. Yeah. And was a full time Air Force base. Yeah. But we live so close to the south end of the runway that um, and I've done it before many times. I can just walk out the front door and stand on the porch and I could take you a video of Air mm -hmm. Force One coming in, you know, with the landing gear down. They're so close. So I'm sure I'll see that tomorrow if I care to, which I really don't. But yeah. But, you know, uh, here, I mean, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that, uh, to begin with, the anti-Trumpers are going to be out voting like crazy. I think the pro-Trumpers, eh, you know, they'll vote. But they're not as, I don't think they're as excited about voting as the liberals are. Not even the liberals, the, the anti-Trumpers. I mean, you've got guys like, um, who's the guy who was the former head of... Uh, of the Republican Party, he's uh, Steele. Michael Steele. Yeah. Michael Steele. Uh, he right. has an ad he did for the uh, the Lincoln Project in which he said, I'm a Republican, I'm a lifelong Republican, I will always be a Republican. I'm voting for Joe Biden. <laughs> you know? And I think that's what's happening. I think there are a lot of Republicans out there who feel they can't take another four years of Trump ruining the brand. You know? And... What's going to happen to the Republican Party after this is over? If they get thrown out of the Senate and they get thrown out of the White House and uh, they stay thrown out of the Congress, out of the House of Representatives, what, they're going to have to do something. They're going to have to go back and rethink their Republicanism and what, yeah, the, what mean, the definition of it is. Yes, because he's killing their conservatism line in favor of isolationism and, you know... Uh, a bit of a, you know, xenophobic type. Yeah, but he's, he's not even a conservative, is he? No, hell no. No, I mean, no. I know conservatives, I'm sure. and I... Absolutely uh, not. I mean... And I appreciate it. in that circle of that, period, he's way outside that. But, I mean, so they better hope that he loses 
so that he doesn't completely shred it because four more years of it would probably destroy it. And I'll well, be honest with you, I, I, would be, I would be willing to bet you that secretly, privately, they do hope he loses so that yes. they can rebuild yes. now before it's destroyed. And like I've said before, they have already sealed the deal with it when Ginsburg died because they said, finally, excellent, we're going to trade four years of Joe Biden, who we think we can control and deal with, for a lifetime appointment to the Supreme Court, and that's our third one. And we're going to get that in exchange. We had to put up with his circus for four years. And we're going to lose a little bit of power, which we've lost before, and we'll get back, yeah. and they probably will. Yeah. And I think they're okay with that deal. We've been joined. Now, they're not going to go and meet the press and say that, but they're okay with it. We've been joined by a true conservative, ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. Patrick Blazik. Hello, Patrick. Mm-hmm. How are you? Hello, Patrick. It's been a while. How are you? I am alive and not dead, so the fire. Yeah. <laughs> and in Wisconsin, in Wisconsin, if you go out without a mask, you might be dead. Okay, so stay safe out I, there. Things. No, are... I go out without a mask. And fuck that. This is not. Well, I'm not under a totalitarian state here, so. No, but but I mean, you want to be safe, don't you? <laughs> I, it, where I'm required to wear it, I wear it. Otherwise, I, I, fuck right. it. I mean, I, I, look, I, if you're in a if you're in a situation in which there are a lot of people around you, you wear a mask, don't you? Where, where social distancing isn't possible? Uh, not outside, no. Why not outside? Because I'm outside. But, it's the, but that's not any. That, that is not. That is a, it's slightly better than being inside. But it's not. It, you still should wear a mask. I mean, I want you, you. know why I want you to wear a mask? Because I love you. Okay. I, I mean, I think the, I think the world of you, and I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. You know what would have? If I would have ever had a thought of voting for Biden, mm-hmm. it would have ended the other night when he insisted that he would make everybody wear a mask. Because you know what? You know, you guys, a lot of you accused Trump of being a dictator. That's also dictatorial. And I don't, I don't go for that. I don't shit. know that it's dictatorial, okay? I mean, what we're dealing with here is a question of public health and public welfare. And um, wearing, if, if we, everybody in America wore masks tomorrow, we could cut the future uh, death toll down by at least 100,000, if not more. Okay? Uh, uh, yes, Charlie? Everybody has to wear seat belts. Is that dictatorial? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like if I dump a bunch of sludge into your reservoir where your drinking water is, is that, you know, it, it, don't I have a right to do that? Well, I mean, I'll slightly disagree with Patrick, but I think I can defend his point. Because I think what he would say, and I'm not, I can't speak for him, but I think that he would argue that those laws were passed by Congress, which is the elected representative body of the people, mm-hmm. and a mandate specifically from the president that says everyone has to wear a mask is a, probably not really within his power. It really isn't legal. It's a bit outside the realm of I, uh, there I will agree so, uh, th- that there I will agree with you but I think that by uh, how can I call it by by example you can create yeah. an atmosphere I mean like for instance right. most people don't we don't have a lot of smokers anymore why don't we have a lot of smokers because we made a law against smoking no, no. we just wouldn't let you smoke anywhere you know, I mean, you couldn't go into a movie theater anymore and smoke. I remember the days when you could go into a museum and smoke while a painting was in front of you, you know. Yeah. Uh, right. In other words, what we did is we made it... Uh, uh, not, to, not to do it, the right We made thing. it a sin to smoke, okay? Yeah. And, and we should do the same thing with wearing masks. I mean, I, I agree with him that we don't need to have somebody make a law to that effect. Yeah. You know. well, we had an yeah. overreach in Wisconsin when our governor with mask mandates, and it's actually not him, it, it's our um, health and human services director or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, where she's issued mandates for masks, and she can't legally 
do that and do a continuation of it. Mm -hmm. The reason she's getting away with it is, and I won't deny this, uh, at least in, in my state, 64 or 65% of the people are in favor of wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. But, you know, a, a mandate is different than a law. Okay, but let me, let, me, let me put it this way to you, okay? If we're going to kill this thing, you know, the only thing that, that lets it survive is the fact that it can go from one person to another. And the masks mitigate that, okay? And that we're going to save lives by wearing masks. Not our lives necessarily. I'm not wearing a mask for me. I'm wearing a mask for you. And you're wearing a mask for me. And we're showing respect for each other by not spreading this disease. If everybody in this country wore a mask, this uh, flu couldn't survive. It, it's impossible for it to survive. So, Where it's required, I wear it. Where it's not, I don't. I say I don't wear it if I'm walking down the street and there's nobody ahead of me for about a half a block or in back of me for half a block or on either side of me. Uh, I'll, I'll lower it a little bit so my nose is exposed. The minute I go past them or catch up with them, up it goes. You know, that I, that I think is fine. But, I mean, people who are going around wearing masks like their chin straps are ridiculous because why they're even wearing them, I have no idea. It does no good. But all I'm saying is, is that we have a national health crisis here. And if we're going to solve it, we all have to pitch in. It's like, it's like World War II, you know, uh, save your scrap metal or uh, uh, whatever, you know. Uh, I consider wearing a mask patriotic, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I was just kind of, I mean, I see the point of that, you know. I mean, governors have much more executive authority in those areas under a lot of state constitutions and like the president would have or whatever. And I mean, there's been, uh, there's no shortage of papers and books written that would explain, you know, overreaches in times of crisis by presidents. I mean, you know, Lincoln suspends habeas corpus and Lincoln locks down Baltimore and, you know, all of which was illegal. I mean, it, it was, it was illegal. Congress, basically gave him a retroactive permission slip after the fact. Yeah. But, you know, crisis, a civil war. I mean, some people would say this this is not nearly as bad as that. No, I mean, it's all relative, you know, to the to the beholder there and everything. So, you know, I mean, I, I see a, a point in that, you know, that the mandate versus the law. I, I, I may be wrong about this, you know? but during the Spanish flu, I do believe people wore masks, but nobody had to tell them to. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember. I don't believe there was a. But uh, you see, there was, a, uh, there was a group in San Francisco called the the anti maskers or something like that. That this was after it was going and everybody was wearing masks that tried to, you know, protest. But they got they got put down fast. Yeah, but I mean, uh, you would see pictures of but baseball you games. Have that. You would see pictures of baseball games where everybody was wearing a mask during the Spanish yeah. flu, yeah, yeah. and nobody said you can't come in unless you're wearing a mask. They just all wore masks yeah. because they wanted to save their lives. Yeah, I mean, I've I've seen it. I mean, you know, Michael Beschloss, who I've talked to you guys off air about that I follow on Twitter, who always just basically puts out all these pictures and everything. Yeah, he's. I've seen dozens of pictures he put out, 1918. You know of three guys in the barber chair and all three barbers are wearing the mask and all three guys in the chair are wearing a mask. And, you know, I mean, so it, it was, it was done. I mean, how many deaths did we have yesterday in Texas, Charlie? Do you know? In Texas, we had uh, 116. Yeah. 116. Yeah. Yeah. And i um, Florida. I think it was far more than that. Actually. You know, we had in the country, we had over 1100 deaths. Yeah. Uh, how many of those deaths could have been avoided if people were wearing masks, you know? And yeah. and, and the people I don't, I don't see wearing masks are the people that should. Older people? Uh, well, older yeah. people do have a tendency to wear the mask because they feel very vulnerable. But I see really fat people in my neighborhood, yeah. and I'm going, don't you know, if you get it, man, that's a death sentence, you know? I, if you took a, a, poll, a, a poll and figured out the percentage of people who were fat who died from this thing, you'd find it's quite high, you know? So, I mean, it's just, I, I just think it's something we have to do in order to kill this thing. We can stop it, but we got to stop it. And, and, and you're right, Patrick. 
I shouldn't have to tell you to wear a mask. You should want to do it for me because you respect me. You know? Yeah. Uh, and I'm wearing mine because I respect you. And I want you to wear a mask for one other reason, is that I think the world of you. I, 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 I value you as a, as a person on this show and as a friend. And I wouldn't want to see anything happen to you because you didn't wear a mask. So that's why I'm being this way. I, we don't want you to miss the Packers in the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> Won't be the Cowboys. What are you going to say, Patrick? I, I said I, I wear it where required. I, I had a doctor's appointment the other day. Mm -hmm. I had to wear one, you know, go yeah. to the whole oh, yeah. rigmarole of the temperature and all that. Wore it through, I don't know, the hours worth of testing and shit like that. That was fine. And as soon as I hit the door outside, off it came. Yeah. Well, I mean, I went to the doctor today, and you, I couldn't have walked in there without a mask. And, of course, they, you know, they beamed me, <laughs> the, the temperature thing, you know. And um, they had hand sanitizer everywhere if you wanted to use it, you know, and bathe in it. And, you know, uh, but, I mean... <laughs> Uh, but the, that, and that's I think to be expected. I would not want a doctor's office to not have a masking policy. Okay. In fact, I have a dentist who wears two masks. Yeah. wears a wears a regular mask and then an N95 over it. <laughs> but you know, the, I guess the reason that I wouldn't necessarily disqualify voting for Joe Biden because he was for a mask mandate is is just because I think that no matter the candidate that was selected to run on the Democratic ticket was going to be in favor of that, and Trump was naturally going to be against that, just because that particular issue has become so politicized and almost so split among the two parties mm -hmm. that it's almost just like a, it's just like the natural rhetoric for the mainstream accepted ideas that the two parties had you know i mean it's 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 almost like abortion you know what i mean democrat pro choice republican pro life i mean i'm not equating the two i'm just saying that was i just can't imagine any other person on the ticket that ran that would not be in favor of right now i mean it was it was almost like a given or whatever i guess you know so you're probably going to get that no matter what I'm not saying that makes it right if he still disagrees with it that's perfectly respectable you know well all i'm saying is is that i right. I, I think there is a path to to kick, killing this thing and stopping it and that part of that path is wearing the uh, is wearing the mask and also you know when you come in from outside for your own good wash your hands for 20 seconds uh sing happy birthday twice you know and what was the other thing uh um, there were a couple of other, you know, always so, so keep socially distant. Although, you know, I, I got into a building today and I got into an elevator and three other people got in there with me. Then there's really no way to avoid that. You know, they're going to have to make elevators bigger, you know, or build them <clears> with <throat> plastic shields in them. Um, but the fact that everybody was wearing a mask pretty well shielded us from each other. I mean, then if, if you're not socially distant, and you wear a mask, you're fine. Oh, I guess we're going to be treated to backyard work today with Bree in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. The backyard against. Yeah, there you are. What are you doing today? What are you going to do? I have not been out in such a long time. I just, I've got to get out and work the uh, soil. I bought some new lemongrass seeds. Oh, well, okay. Uh, so, so I'm going to get that planted over here. And uh, I've got a lot of wheat grass that I grow for our kitten. Yeah. It's kind of like, like, to... like this Zoom panel now has become <laughs> a, uh, nine different channels. And this is the home and, uh, uh, and garden channel over there. Yeah. Um, I just caught, um, I can show them to you if you want, but it's hard to see them. I got two little uh, toad and this little baby toad. And they were in the section I was working, so I moved them over excuse, to the sunflower it, section. Yeah, it, excuse me, Bree. Animal Planet yeah. is the next channel over. And I should. Yeah. I'm telling you, if I show you those cute little toads, viewership will go up. Oh, oh you believe, <laughs> you really believe that? Let me see. There are 38. The, the father toad and the baby toad. It's pathetic how many I mean, people so watch cute. the show live, but there are 38 watching it right now. Go get the toads. Put them on screen. Let's see if the viewership goes up. 
Okay. okay. I will. Well, they're in their little pen now, you see. They're, I'll show you. Uh, this is this is the area I'm working uh, here. Okay. Okay. And Everybody, they were there. Phone so your I friends, them tell here. them there are toads on the on the ramble tonight. Yeah, where this is my sunflower section here. Yeah, well, where's and there's there's here's one of the toads right there. Can you see her? It, it, Oops, yeah, she's yeah. right in front. Whoop, there she goes. Yeah, oh, did okay. you see her? Yeah, I kind of that's the baby yeah. toad. Oh, god, we went that's up one person. Toad. We went up one person. Keep see? showing us toads. All right, keep now showing let's us find toads. the father toad. Let's how, see if we can get oh, the yeah, father toad. How do you know it's a father here. toad? Did you check his underside or something? <laughs> oh, it could be the mommy toad, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. I can't find the mommy or you know, the parent toad. Yeah, we can only oh, see we're back. the baby we toad. Lost, I, we, gone, we lost that one person who tuned in for the toads because you you <laughs> couldn't come a, up with oh your boy. you couldn't come up with your other toad. This is the civet cat cage. Uh -huh. It's ready to catch one if they want to come there. You can see here. Uh, I put this is to keep them from going up the rain pipes. But you can see their their paw prints are there sometimes. But mm -hmm. I think we've gotten rid of most of them. Okay. Uh, All right. Well, uh, the latest was that uh, we found out that the house behind us mm -hmm. likes to keep a lot of cats. And they were making a lot of noise over the months. We never thought of it. But lately, we're under lockdown again. So the neighbors over here mm -hmm. uh, heard them meowing all night, 2, 3 a.m. the other night. They thought it was our cat. Our cat doesn't make a uh, sound. Now, you, know, you, hear, so you, I, yeah. you hear that, Patrick? They're in lockdown. I just, At yeah. least we never come to that yeah. point where we've done that. You know, in yeah, England, this is our second. Huh? We, is your we second? have in my state. Well, a lockdown. I mean, where you got a ticket or something for being out? Yeah, we we had. Um, we had a lockdown too. Yeah, really? It, yeah, we we had a lockdown here. It was fuck. I don't know. It, um, that was where the first overreach came in, and we ended up getting the state supreme court to overturn it mm -hmm. because the the governor had no. Um, jurisdiction to do it beyond a 30-day period, and he wanted to extend it, and that's where the problem came in. None of us, even me, bitched about it initially because this is when this was all brand new, and mm -hmm. you know. But then we learned a little bit more that you could go out with masks and all of that, and he was still insisting on extending it. So yeah, we've we've had lockdowns here. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, well, the big thing here is whether we're, hmm? the the big thing here last night was whether they're going to declare a state of emergency, uh, because there's some there's some going goings on with the government uh, and the rise in cases. So they were going to, but then they said no, they're going to hold off. They're going to see if this two weeks you know sort of pause. How how bad is it? Can get, get how, how bad has it gotten in Kuala Lumpur? Oh, uh, well, see that's the thing. It, it's not it. According to like New Yorkish or U.S., <laughs> we're nothing. Uh, you know, we're nothing like that. But that's because they take these measures. Yeah. You know, we have, we probably have, I think, uh, five or six hundred new cases, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe two or three new deaths. You know, in a week. In a week. Okay. So, a week. Yeah, I think yeah, we've, had eight, uh, we've had eight. We've had today. No, we had. I think we wait. What? The U.S. had 77,000 oh, COVID yeah. cases today. Yeah, no, no, no. We're nowhere near those numbers. Not, 77, no, no, no. I think total cases would be like 22. Alex is our expert on this. He was doing China this today, but he didn't give me my report from Malaysia. I was tuning into New York to find out about Malaysia. <laughs> I think we're at like 22,000 yeah. that we had total. And I think we may have had like 500 deaths. Yeah. Uh, but we're we're under a second lockdown. That's why it's working. People wear masks, people and people listen. And so for the most part, yeah. uh, you know, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but uh, and we're keeping control of it, which is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're, you know, we're we're just we're just getting very infected here in the United States and in Wisconsin, where Patrick is. It hasn't been. It's been terrible They're They've had the most people in one day, I think, didn't they? today or yesterday yeah i mean we've we've had our spike but the spike that we've had have been in the parts of the state that have not experienced it yet mm -hmm. uh, not in the cities like milwaukee or the capital madison mm -hmm. or, um 
it's even south of Milwaukee between Chicago and, and Milwaukee, but I, Green Bay area, um, that was hard hit. And then what we call outdate, yeah. which is all of the smaller communities. So that's where a lot of this is hitting now. And that's what, what predicted is once it would get past the bigger cities, it would start migrating out to where it hadn't been yet. So well, let me had, let me ask uh, Brian. Brian, you're a, you're a, a school bus driver, correct? Right. Uh, yes. Are the, are the schools back in session? I mean, uh, my particular district is. However, the other ones, like I said uh, about a week ago or so, uh, has remained unchanged for most of the other districts, including. And you're, the and you're Pittsburgh where you're public w- Pittsburgh. Uh, 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 my question with you is. Uh, number one, do you feel safe? You know, because you're driving with all those little germ incubators. Uh, and no, 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 no. I'll, I'll oh, he should safe. feel okay because there's a 99.9% recovery rate, according to Trump. Right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's the best statistic he came up with. It, it, it's been shown that 88% of people who wear masks get COVID. Yeah, yeah. I'm not finished with my answer, though. Yeah, go, go ahead. Continue. My answer also stems from my underlying misanthropic nihilistic philosophy in that uh, there is no safe, for one thing. Yeah. And two, regarding uh, some of Patrick's talking points, as this thing drags on, mm-hmm. I'm starting to empathize with more and more. Unless you explicitly... One of my questions I wanted to ask to Patrick, which he already answered, so you don't have to answer this, Patrick. Um are you legally required to wear a mask out in public when you're in contact with other people outside? The answer, of course, is no, you don't. So unless you tell me that it's against the law, I'm going to do it. If I so choose not to wear a mask outside with other people around, especially other people I don't like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, but here's the you thing. You tell me it's yeah. illegal and I'll do it. Here's, only the, here's the thing, illegal. though. Uh, that you, they can require you to wear masks in certain situations. For and instance, if they do, I'll wear it. It's good. I, I always well, wear let, one. Let's say. I always uh, wear my neck. Let's say mm-hmm. at the doctor's office. I'm sure the school district makes you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Which I do. Yeah. Uh, like I also, as you've also seen many times, I have I have two of them. One I wear here as a traditional mask. The other one I found out that the uh, neck gaiters make for wonderful hair nets. So I use that too. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, has anybody, for instance, in your schools, has, have, have any of the kids come down with COVID? Oh, yeah. Um, well, yeah. Um, okay. I mean, the, the numbers are low, but, I mean, there, there are cases that are – we've had a few drivers who were – who the mandate is – well, the policy is if a student is found out to be uh, – to, to have tested positive on your bus, on your particular route mm-hmm. – the student, as well as yourself, the driver, you're you're uh, you're uh, taken off. You 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 take time off you're for about two weeks. I think yeah. it's two weeks, but yeah. you, you mm-hmm. get paid for it. But you you get take you get. Take, what I don't understand, however, Do they have is testing? my knowledge. Not just uh, what, why is it just from what I understand, it's just the driver and the student. Why uh, why are the other yeah. students on the bus not required to quarantine yeah, no. as well? Oh, by the way, somebody here wrote. Uh, Peter Arno wrote in our chat room. Fauci contradicted Trump on live TV again today. If Trump wins, Fauci is gone. I think you're wrong, Peter, because I don't think Fauci is appointed by Trump to his post at the National Institute of Health. I think he's with Oh, him. it doesn't matter. He'll get rid of him. <laughs> Somehow. Like who his boss him. is. Yeah, he can't yeah. fire he, him. He gets things done. He can't fire him from his real job. He can fire him off of that stupid bogus Pence task force, but that's meaningless. Well, anyway. you know, tr- Trump, uh, according to Fauci, Trump hasn't met with the task force in two months. Yeah, yeah. You is, know, and uh, the task is, force is Fauci's boss controlled by Trump. Fauci, I think uh, it, it maybe is the boss. Yeah, yeah. Where he is, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's director. Of I believe Trump, Trump said it would be politically bad. Hmm. To do that, Trump with, said it would be politically bad to do that. So he'll wait. If he wins, then he'll do it. Well, he, he's. Uh, uh, I'm telling you, tr- Trump's out. You know. Yeah. More uh, than it, likely, he, he will be out. But I'll, I'll bet I'll you five gabnet dollars on that. You bet me five gabnet dollars. Five gabnet dollars. Well, okay. Two. Yeah, okay. Two betting. Three. Yep. 
God. You're, you're not uh, here. You yeah, don't. Not, you uh, don't feel the swell. <laughs> you know. You don't feel the the pulse. Uh, there is a well, there is yeah. a passion here. There is a passion here, and it's not. It's not that anybody wants Biden to be president. Well, it's not me, like they're running out and going, the, "Oh boy, I want Joe Biden to be man, president." Right. I don't want Trump to be president anymore. That's well, what me, it's all about. Let me ask you a question, Alex. Mm -hmm. There's uh, been record numbers of people who have been voting. And all I hear is everybody thinks that's all for Biden. Do you think that? I think uh, they, they believe, yeah. they say, okay, that something like, uh, I think 70% are, are Democrats and the rest are Republicans. Yeah. They know what the party oh. of the person is who requested the ballot, if it's mail-in. Yeah, yeah, and that the Democrats are far outreaching the, uh, are, uh, uh, outpacing the Republicans. Did, did you voting. hear about this case? Oh, wait a minute, where but, they but, had but a Brian video. has his hand up. Yeah, yeah Brian. Right. Sorry. Okay, two things. One is I see quite a few. I say I believe it when I see it for uh, this particular reason. I live in the suburbs in the suburbs uh close in proximity to the city of pittsburgh mm -hmm. which by and large are going leaning towards biden mm -hmm. at least what i'm understanding but i see a lot of i see a lot of uh, uh pickup trucks i see a lot of uh, uh like fly-by-night sign stores and shit that are popping up that are selling trump paraphernalia these mm -hmm. pickup trucks that are waving these flags with the american flag and it has trump on it make america great keep america great but also uh people are if, if Biden does win, mm -hmm. it's only because people are passionate about getting rid of Trump. Yeah. They're passionate about getting rid of Trump because they're yeah. desperate. And what happens when you're desperate? You do stupid shit. Desperate, desperation leads to stupidity. You're desperate for companionship. If you're single and you're lonely and you're looking for a romantic partner, you'll settle for somebody who has a history of psychosis and maybe killed their last uh, husband. It's two, it, it's two o'clock in closing time at the bar. Yes, exactly. That's why Biden is uh, as popular as he is. Well, no, I you know, no, look, make no mistake about it. I'm the first one to say that you know Biden was never my idea of a good time. I I by the way appreciate him a little more as this thing has gone on because I think he's handled himself and comported himself well uh, and made his case I think fairly well. And I would also argue that with the complicity of other candidates at the time of the primary, like. Buttigieg, yeah. even and even Elizabeth Warren, everybody except Sanders. It's why Sanders lost because everybody gained up on him. Mega yeah. Gundam, Power Rangers, Super Soldier, robots. No, I'll style. tell you why. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why. Him. I'll tell you why he lost. Simple, plain and simple, because he wasn't that yeah. good. Okay, he didn't make his case enough. Yeah, they ganged up on him. Uh, no, they we didn't disagree. gang. They didn't gang up on him. I think it was all fair and square. They all had wheeling, dealing, underhanded deals going on. That uh, if they all threw their support behind yeah, Biden. That's and true. Gang fucked them. Then they. Then that's, that's exactly politics. what they did. Well, I don't think that's so. To be honest with you. Well, we disagree. Yeah. It's understandable. Yeah. It is what it is. You know, I think Hillary ganged up on him. I'll agree oh, with you if you want. Yeah. Undoubtedly. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure. I think it was the same deal. I think the Democratic Party didn't want him this time. I think his, the problem with, with uh, to begin with, uh, Bernie Sanders, from what I understand, from friends of mine who live in Vermont and have dealt with the guy, and are flaming liberals, uh -huh. right? Say he's an asshole. But there's another part of it, a smaller <laughs> part of it that wonders if, uh, you know, as Jimmy Dore said, uh, if uh, Bernie Sanders was an, an orchestrated opposition, was was an organized opposition. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, our passion would have been directed to a third party candidate like Howard Hawkins or some other person. Well, that could be those, those people who are going to go for the odd man out are always going to form a bait and switch. Are mm -hmm. going to go find mm -hmm. them? Okay, uh, 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 you know, Bernie Sanders kept them in the tent. That, that, I think, is, was his value. But uh, I just think, you know, uh, I, and I, so I'm no big Biden fan. Uh, here's a bowl of delicious spaghetti, and then once we find that the spaghetti is there, oh, here's a bucket of shit. you got to shove it down your throat. Yeah, well, here's anyway, Biden. anyway that's, all, that, 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 that's, uh, you know, that's all similes that you're throwing out there. But uh, the, well, po the, point of, uh, the point is that— uh, I'm pissed. What can I say? 
Well, I mean, I don't think he's so a, pissed off that I, 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 I think I think that he's turned out to be a better candidate than I thought he would be. Do you agree with me on that, Josh? Do you, uh, I, uh, that Biden has actually turned out to be a better candidate than you thought he'd be? I mean, for me, no. I think he's turned out to be what I thought he would be. I said that for a long time. I said that from the very beginning. But he might have turned out to be better than what some people thought. Yeah. I mean, I thought that his, I don't want to call it act because it's not an act, but I mean his style, there's a better word for it. Yeah. I thought that his style and his message would play well Yeah. in a lot of parts of middle America that, Hillary Clinton did not do very well in, yes. and it turns out that it has. Well, you know what he is? The name Joe says it all, doesn't it? it you know, he's just, a, he's just a common Joe. He's He speaks directly to the people. I think he's a, he's a very he's a very good candidate. Let's say every bit of it is a put-on. Let's say he's just, you know, conning all of us. It's a good con, you know? Yeah. And, and, and on top of that... There's no way I'm voting for Donald Trump, and there's no way I'm voting for a third-party candidate. So, can anybody be as bad as Trump? I mean, come on. No. Trump, Trump is a fucking. I'm sure we could go back and find somebody like oh, I don't know Chester A. Arthur or somebody like that. A show uh, for no. so a show for Lockheed Martin and Goldman Sachs with a personable filter is still a show for Goldman Sachs and Lockheed Martin and Raytheon. Oh. Yeah, now, you Biden. think he's a shill for big corporations? Biden? Who are you talking he's, about? Yeah, Tr Trump made a he's a shill good a point smile. about that. What? What'd you say? Trump made a good point about that at the at the uh, debate. He didn't make which it. he won, by the way, hands down. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, he just fucking lied the whole goddamn show. Come on! I'd say it was at best a tie, uh, at, at worst for Trump. He just resembles uh, Biden won by a narrow margin. No, he's a filthy liar, and and he and and, and he's fucking. He, this guy, we've got two hundred and thirty thousand fucking people dead. This motherfucker hasn't done a goddamn thing, and he's lying about it. Come on, and he's the fucking president. Shit. Well, come on, go to fucking Trump country and tell them that they're not going to believe it. They're going to say it was the liberal lockdown that caused all this nonsense to happen but they're not but they're stupid they, they don't face the facts you go I to every fucking county you. you go to every county that trump has thrown one of these super spreaders you and you're going to see the uh positive tests of uh covid going up by like fucking double what all the other areas around it is but he's, the a, late fuck, great he's a fucking menace but as the late great comedian george carlin said never underestimate the power of stupid people in large groups well no, I, look we, we know that to be true but that's also us being feet and and uh, uh looking our, uh, over our noses down at those people no, rather, rather what we audience. should do if we want them to come over to our side is to kind of lift them up you know and and work on lifting them up. Yeah, uh, well, yes, uh, uh, but I, I, you know, I. The I, right's I, been doing that for years, though, since the Southern strategy years. That's how long the right has excelled at it. Yeah, but the point. The and let me tell you another thing: uh, if if they do not, if the Democrats do not take the Senate, how much do you think Biden's going to get done? Because they're going to block him. I got news for you. Yeah. I got news for Obama. you. Who cares? They're getting the Senate. Okay, I, I I just five, we just looked at that dollars. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll bet you a hundred gadget <laughs> dollars on that one. I'll take a hundred too. Because they, I'm inclined they, to believe they looked at the, the. I think the. Okay, now what I was saying before. All the they, Democrats the Trump, need. All the Democrats need are three senators. Is it three senators, Charlie? We need, we need four. Four, and already we know we have two locked in the Arizona race, mm -hmm. and there's one other race, the one with McSally. Is uh, you know that's Arizona. Don't uh, forget Harris, Kamala Harris. The one in Mississippi done. Huh? The one in Mississippi. They just uh, they're running uh, this TV interview she did when she went to uh, the uh, the Jefferson Davis uh, Museum, mm -hmm. and she they got her on this. They're running it all over there. They, she, they got her saying praising how great the uh, Jefferson Davis was in the Confederacy, and. Uh, and she's running against Mike Espy in Missi Mississippi. I think she's cooked. 
I forgot her name, but yeah. uh, mm. Pennsylvania, which is you know my home state, I'd like somebody to address this issue. But uh, if let's say you are a household of uh, five and three are of voting age, so one person says, "Hey, uh, give me your ballots. I'll take them in. Uh, I'll put." The, are they? Is that legal to do that? Because they had a video of people who are bringing up three or five ballots and putting them in the box. But I think the law says you can only put your ballot in there. I don't, I don't, so I don't, I don't, know, know. I don't know that that's necessarily the law. What they can do is they can track whether you voted once or twice very easily. And that's how they're, they're solving that problem. Yeah, but so. what if you didn't vote? What if somebody got your ballot? One person walking up and putting three or five ballots in <clears> does <throat> not <throat> seem right to me, and they have video of it. Well, what are you so, going to say to those roommate. to those people uh, of, of almost every state they who agree, have run these these? Agree, they don't have any video of that. It's just Trump's disinformation bullshit. Yeah, which you don't buy it, that? But, it's, but it, no, we, we, I'll tell you, it makes common sense. If I'm in a household, <laughs> why make everybody go? I'll just take it for you. I mean, it's logical. It may, it's common sense. Yeah. So, but it may so, be illegal. So, but how, it may how be is illegal. that illegal? First of all, first of all, that person has to be able to lay their hands on those ballots. And if there's somebody in that house, uh, they're not going to disappear that yeah, easily. Yeah, the mail carrier. Oh, jeez. We already yeah. have evidence of that. No, we, we don't have do. evidence of that. We all, we don't we have. Do. There is no evidence out there. Brian Ludwig, please help me out here. Yeah. Brian in to that Trump bullshit. It's all Brian Ludwig, please help me out here. That one uh that one mail carrier. This is a pro Oh, Trump just one mail carrier. On one mail carrier. How many mail carriers are there where in there's this one, country? Where there's uh, one mouse, uh, there's oh, never one. Where there's one cockroach, cockroach oh, there's never I, one. I see. Okay, so I'll give you two. All right. Come on. Amen. Come on. You know, we'll see. listen, I got to tell you, every single election we've ever had in this country has had election fraud of one sort or another. And it didn't have anything to do with mail in ballots or anything else. And that's it, because it, we didn't have mail in ballots until now. Really? It, yeah. I mean, but I mean, but what I'm saying is we've had, uh, 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 you know, the Kennedy election. He won by 200 votes or something like that in uh, Chicago of people yeah. who turned out to be dead. OK. So I mean, this has been going on forever. The the real the real uh, ballot um, and the real the real voting scandal is the fucking all the unlimited dark money that's in these uh, yeah in these things. That's the real scandal. Yeah, and you have what uh, the court Supreme Court case in 2010. What the hell was it called? The Nestor Souza with the Hillary Clinton United. Citizens United. You have Citizens United to thank for that. That's the fucking real scandal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah, happened in 2010, of, though. If a couple of hillbillies throw in a couple of ballots, big fucking deal. That ain't going to make no difference. Well, I mean, I you know, they've said that when you look at mail-in ballots, for instance, that in all the states that have had it, and I think states like Oregon have had it for years now. Years. There have never, there's maybe been maybe one case out of millions of votes of some kind of impropriety. So, you know, I mean, uh, you can try and make a case that mail-in mail -in voting may actually maybe be better, you know, because I think it will make more people vote, Yeah. Uh, yeah. whereas before they maybe didn't want to go over to that school and wait in the line large, to yes. vote and so on. You Some total-wise, I think you are. Yeah. I believe you're correct. Yeah. It is better. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm, I want to see them come up with a computer version of it. It'll it'll work. Be yeah, can we use Democrat. that uh, I was the blockchain? Same thing too. Yeah. What? Can we use that blockchain technology? Well, to, we, we, you know, to figure out voting. Well, I mean, it, 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 uh, I'll leave it up to the technical people, but I think we can do something that would keep our votes pretty secure and be able to do it online. I think if we could do it online, we would have an amazing amount of people voting. Yeah. 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 You know, and agreed. do it over a two week, two two. Uh, do it over a month. To begin with, to November, begin with, to begin October with, is election month. Every year there should be one day, and we can take one of the months and make it a non day. Okay, they said we actually can make every month the same amount of days each month if we just add one non day into the calendar, and that non day would be a holiday for everybody, and it would be election day. Well, half, half jokingly. Okay, I'll vote for you, Alex. 
Yeah. 35 <laughs> days for each month is what I always jokingly thought. All right, Alex, I'm voting for you. It's like 30 days each month, and then there's one day, something like that. I can't remember but what. But 35 uh, Alex, days. But here's I'm a, voting for you, Alex, Alex, but will you will you give me dental? Will you give me dental? Absolutely. You're getting, you're getting <laughs> okay. dental up the ass. You got my okay. vote. Okay. Alex Bennett, 2020. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your running mate, Alex? Uh, Kamala, ha Kamala Harris. Alex uh, and Phil, 2020. No. There we go. Actually, actually, my my running mate, if I had a chance, would be Kristen Welker, because uh, she's hot. You know. AOC is mine. Well, did you see Kristen Welker in the debates last night? No, I didn't see her. She was the What's woman, she running for. She was the one running the. She was the moderator. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I agree with you. Yes. Wholeheartedly. Yes. Kristen Welker. And, and for by the anything. way, Trump is less racist than her. By the way, tonight we watched a terrible movie. Yeah, actually. I know, right? That that floored me. We when said that. <laughs> what? Yeah. He looked right into her eyes and said yeah. that too. That, that, what, I'm what, what, did, what did he say? I'm the least racist person in the room. I almost laughed out loud. I wasn't even angry. I was just fucking. <laughs> I I, I, yeah, yeah, I passed uh, pass more that. legislation really than anybody that. since Lincoln. I'm not. Yeah. I passed more legislation than anybody since Lincoln. Well, Lincoln only passed one piece of legislation for blacks. <laughs> okay. Bree, I want a leader, not a demagogue. I'm not going to. you let that. me finish what I'm saying? <laughs> God, I never can finish what I'm saying. <laughs> we got to get Charlie yeah, back Yeah, go here. on, Brian. It's probably more important uh, than what I was going <laughs> to say. This is a hot, hot citizen panel. Huh? A hot citizen panel tonight. Yeah, yeah but I mean, the point is, the, po the point is that uh, um, um, the uh, Johnson passed more legislation for blacks than any other president, including Donald Trump. All right, Donald <laughs> Trump just writes executive orders. He doesn't pass legislation. Johnson got legislation through. He got a Voting Rights Act, and he got you know equal this and equal that. Well, that's that. when that's when we had real bipartisanship, Alex. When yeah, you yeah. know Democrats and Republicans talked to each other. If you remember, well, you those also days. had a guy. You also oh, had a no, guy. Not quite. The whole all all the southern uh, states were all fucking Dixiecrats, Confederates. It wasn't easy. Yeah, which Trump was one. Well, those days. well, I mean, it, it wasn't easy. Johnson knew talked. that he had lost. He had lost wow. the South. You know, yeah, yeah. We didn't get any support from any of those. And all they, those, those. Uh, uh, Dixie, Texas? They called them Dixiecrats. They became. Dixie they actually became Republicans. You know, so. Yeah, during Reagan. Yeah, um, but I, you know, I mean, all I'm saying is, is that I think that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, that, uh, I, I, you know, just some of the stuff he was saying last night, like. Uh, no, the it, fact it, it, that, you know, that, oh, the, we're, we're around the corner on this COVID thing. Look at Florida and Texas. Well, today, Florida and Texas had the highest rates of infection of any states in the country. Yeah, right. we'll look at Florida and we'll look at Texas and fuck you. Joe Biden <laughs> missed an uh, opportunity when he when Trump always says, we're going to really we're going to do that real soon. And he said something about some other plan. And I was like, you mean your taxes? No. We're going to get it around the same time we get your taxes, aren't we? Yeah, I like yeah. I, I yeah. like it when Trump goes. I gave two point eight billion dollars to our farmers, and uh, yeah. Biden goes, "Yeah, it was a fucking money. taxpayer money." And the, yes. that look on yeah. his face. What what, <laughs> like, what 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 did he say that it was their money? <laughs> it's taxpayer money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah. Yeah. he just bailed them out of. And the only well, he, he, he makes an idea the idea that putting a tariff on China is is a. Um, uh, is a chastisement of China when in yeah. fact it only affects us because we have to pay higher prices when we buy exactly. something that has a tariff on it from China. Hello, Jeff. And it, and it kills our <laughs> farmers. So he's, he's a fucking stupid shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, he's, I don't think he's that. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's that. I don't think you win the presidency of the oh, United States. I, no, no. I, no, there's, a difference, a, between, a, there's a difference between being smart and having street smarts. Mm. He's got street smarts. He's got gutter fighter smarts, but he doesn't have smarts. You know. Book uh, smarts, you mean? Hmm? 
What? Book smarts. Book smart. He's, I don't he's know. Not you a know, smart when man. He, was in he, that, was, uh, he, he never wrote any of those books that he wrote. Oh, They're no. Written. Well, They're most books. people never but do. He does have, you are right. He does have street smarts. Yeah, he does have street hey, smarts. I, sure. He has, you know what he has? He, keeps a lot he, of has in he, has, he has gangster smarts. Yes. Is what he has. Very much so. He got that from Cohn. Come on. Roy Cohn. During the debate, he was able to reference a lot of things. You know, and some of it made sense. Now, uh, what made sense? Yeah, you know, some of it made sense. Yeah, some of it. Like um, what? I'd like to know uh, who are Joe Biden's donors. But uh, Trump said, when you when you get a Me. when you get a million dollars from someone, there's a deal made. Trump knows that because he's okay. done it. And 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 Biden so, said, my average donor is forty eight dollars. Yep. Forty three. Forty three. Yeah. So where are all those million dollar donors? Well, then then I thought about that and I realized how you can do that. If oh. you Hey, if enough you're wealthy, is enough. Let some other people talk here. <laughs> okay. right. no, let him talk. I want to hear his argument. Go on. <laughs> there I, was I, like no, it's all right. crazy. I like Trump Trumpers. I want to hear their fucking argument. They're ridiculous. I, I am not a don't call me a Trumper. I take it's great exactly. offense to that. Oh, I'm I not you were, a Trumper. You're defending what, Trump. No. What I am is an open-minded individual who doesn't say immediately when he appears on the television he's a stupid idiot. I don't call yeah, well, the president so of the United States that no matter what. Ray, if you're so open-minded, come on, keep on defending him. I want to hear what you got to say if you're so open-minded. No, see, that's that's a problem, and that's why Phil left here. That's why Phil left. No, Phil, he was Phil, right. Phil, <laughs> Phil left because I was. You I, don't let him. You don't let him say anything. Wait a minute. Hold I, on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me take over here, Bree. You're wrong. The fact of the matter is I let Phil get away with it way too long by not letting anybody else in this crowd talk, okay? They all felt inhibited to talk, and he would, start, he would jump in and try and take over the discussion, and that's why I, when he wanted to go, and that's his choice, I let okay. him go. All right, sorry. So, sorry. you know, I, he never went because I didn't want to hear what he had to say politically, I was happy when he went because these other people suddenly were able to get their two cents worth in. Well, I don't see it. The only reason Phil left is because he couldn't defend himself because he's got no, such no. a you know a weak position. You know, there, I mean, anybody trying to defend Trump can only just you know spoo bullshit. You know, I mean, because that's all he is. He's just a fucking you know, it's just bullshit. Well, so it's easy to say, but you know, let's not write everything off to bullshit, okay? okay. Yeah, everything yeah. he says. No, no, you're right. You're absolutely okay. right. It's every single thing. The president of the United States. Oh gosh, I mean, why are we even talking about him? He's so irrelevant. Well, because he's just he, a liar he, and because he's a and very he's, no, Alex. No, he you're right. He, he every time you say something about Trump, you. I don't want to hear it because he's terrible. No, well, so don't I say know, anything about Trump ever. Documented lies. Ridiculous. Now I agree with you. Seven thousand documented lies. He is a liar. There you go. Yeah, because no politician has ever lied to us. Not twenty-seven thousand <clears throat> fucking times. Nobody holds years. the world's record like he does. Uh, yes. Bree. You know. And I, you know, it's a media environment we live in. Look, I oh. expect all I expect out of a president is that he respects the job he has, and Trump does not respect the job of the presidency. That's all. That's what that. bothers me the most. I'll give you that. You uh, I'll give me okay, that. Okay, okay. How did he get to okay? Let that? me let me put you in timeout now, so a few other people can say something. Um, um, Josh, you were kind of nodding your head. What were you thinking? Well, I mean, I. <laughs> I wasn't really, I don't know if I was responding to what they were saying, but I, I, I'm going to stay out of that. <laughs> let, me, let, let me just say this, okay? Uh, 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 did, 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 what happened to the Rosenbergs, okay? We, we, we fucking executed them, right? Mm -hmm. Because they were Russian spies. What is Trump? He sold the fucking country out to the Russians. He's a Russian plant. Come on, look, is it, it's fucking obvious. He's a Russian, he, he's, he, he's, he has put the country in jeopardy by fucking... Uh, I think where he's put the country in jeopardy is we don't know because we never see his taxes or his financial statements who he owes money to. And if he yeah. owes money to China, then that says something. And if he owes money to the Russians, that says something. If he owns money to the Saudis, 
that says something. But we need to know that, and we're never going to know that because he's never made his finances transparent. Yes, Brian. So we didn't see all his taxes. We just saw the ones that uh, we just saw more of the ones where we uh, now know that he only paid like seven hundred and fifty dollar income tax for like the last what two or three years. Is that I thought that was I thought those were He's the entirety pay, of his. Record. He actually paid, he didn't release that. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, he paid about one hundred eighty thousand dollars in taxes. However. To China. To China. China, oh, yeah. To China, where he had a bank account. So. And, 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 he, and he withdrew like $17 million out of that bank account. Where'd that money come from? Yeah. Patrick, you got something to say? Oh, wait a minute. He hold on, is hold. the ultimate master of lying. Yep. Yeah. He, yeah. He has lied more. Well, he's not the master of lying because when he lies, you know he is. A master yeah. of well, lying would be able to lie and you don't know he's lying. He doesn't care if you yeah, he has believe no it or not. Chance. Okay. Enough, see, tru yeah, enough Trump bashing here. Uh, Patrick, do you have a thought about any of this? No, I was actually just enjoying the uh, little tay to tay between John and Bree. That was my entertainment <laughs> for the <party. laughs> I wish it was still going on. So. Yeah, well, we we can make them do it, you know. Uh, you know. I don't. I, I, you can I send me five like, cabinet I dollars for that, Patrick. <laughs> I may need it. You may need it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I love debating with Trumpers, you know. I mean, if, if they think they got... They Too bad we don't have one here. Yeah, exactly. He's not a Trumper. Uh, the thing is, if it's against Biden to someone... What, what's your name again? Not not Bree, but the other guy. John. 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 If it's against Biden, they're not... A Trumper, okay. I'm against Biden. I think he's a neoliberal tool. I think he's a uh, he's he's worse than than Trump in the sense that the lies he tells are the ones we believe are subterfuge. They're 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 underneath. They're not as Trump. He just shot his mouth off one too many times, and you know we know he's a liar. He's a braggart, and he's and, and yeah. uh, you know, but but Biden, he's insidious. So is his, uh, so is the neoliberal establishment. Okay, so well, I, I, Obama, I, so is Bill Clinton. I, I, dis I disagree with you, but so what? I'm Total not going to. I'm I not going to argue with you. Uh, I'm not going to give Patrick the, the satisfaction of more entertainment <laughs> value on this program. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank our, Jeff. Did the viewers go up? I want to thank Jeff. <laughs> I want to thank. Uh, uh, I want to thank uh, Charlie, of course, as always. Josh, wonderful to have you here, and. Uh, uh, you look so relaxed in that chair all the time. Uh, yes, yeah, so John Larkin, thank you. Patrick, you know I love having you here. And I only want you to wear a mask because I love you. And uh, 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 Bree, thank you so much for joining us this evening uh, and adding to the festivities. And, of course, Brian. Uh, and if all of you would give a big wave goodbye, I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. And uh, say goodnight. Bye. Okay, that's our citizen panel for tonight. That's our citizen panel for the week. Uh, we'll be back uh, here on uh, on Tuesday night. We'll also be here probably on um, 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 Monday afternoon doing our little pop-up show, which is kind of a nice little gathering of people. Uh, but in the meantime... Uh, stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next over most of the same gabnet. I'll see you again. When is it? Oh, yes, of course. We'll see you again tomorrow. Oh, excuse me, on Tuesday night. <laughs> same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And everybody, yeah, be safe out there and wear a mask, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs>